Ever wonder if that crazy car chase scene from your favorite action movie could happen in real life? You're not alone. Movies are filled with heart-stopping, jaw-dropping scenes that leave us in awe and disbelief, but how much of it is grounded in reality? Could you really survive a jump from a helicopter onto a moving train, or outrun an explosion? This realm of movie magic is full of myths, some so ingrained in our cinematic consciousness that they're accepted as fact. Take the classic scene of the hero casually walking away from a massive explosion without looking back, or the lone survivor stranded in the wilderness, able to live off the land and fight off wild beasts, all while maintaining a perfect hairstyle. And who can forget the gravity-defying car jumps that seem to bend the laws of physics for the sake of an epic chase scene? We've all found ourselves debating the realism of these scenes. Maybe it was after a movie night with friends, or during a heated discussion on an online forum. Either way, these debates reveal our fascination with the boundary between the world of cinema and the world we live in. But what if we could put these debates to rest? What if we could test these movie myths and measure them against the harsh ruler of reality? Could we separate the truly plausible from the purely fantastical? Well, that's exactly what we're about to do. We'll take some of the most famous, most debated, and most outrageous scenes from your favorite films and put them to the test. We'll consult with experts, run simulations, and even recreate some of these scenes ourselves, all in the name of cinematic truth. So are you ready? Are you prepared to challenge your perceptions of movie realism? To see your favorite scenes subjected to the cold hard light of fact-checking? If so, then buckle up. This journey is not for the faint of heart. Hold on to your popcorn, folks. It's time to dive into the magic of cinema and separate fact from fiction. Remember that epic car jump scene? Could a car really fly that high and land without a scratch? Let's take a moment to delve into the physics of a gravity-defying car jump. We've all seen it. The hero in an action-packed movie, flooring the gas pedal, flying off an improvised ramp and soaring through the air, only to land perfectly, continuing the chase as if nothing happened. It's exciting, it's dramatic, but is it possible? Let's start with the jump itself. The distance a car can jump is determined by its speed, the angle of the ramp, and gravity. In our world gravity is a constant force that pulls everything down towards the earth. So, for a car to jump that high and that far it would need to be going very very fast. And we're not talking about just hitting the gas pedal. We're talking about speeds that would make a race car driver blush. But what about the landing? It's one thing to get a car to jump, but it's another thing entirely to have it land without a scratch. Here's where the magic of Hollywood comes into play. In reality, even if the car was able to make the jump, the landing would be another story. It would likely result in significant damage to the car, and possibly even the driver. The force of the impact would be enormous, enough to crumple metal and shatter glass. So, what's the verdict? According to our experts, while it might be theoretically possible for a car to make such a jump, the variables involved make it highly unlikely. And the landing? Well, let's just say it's better left to the movies. So next time you see a car flying in a movie, remember, it's more Hollywood magic than physics. Ever seen a movie where the hero survives in the wild with just a knife? Could you really do that? Let's dive into the world of cinematic wilderness survival, where our favorite action heroes make it look as easy as a Sunday afternoon stroll. But is it really? Picture this, a rugged protagonist, stranded in the heart of a dense forest with nothing but a handy knife. Sounds like the plot of a blockbuster, doesn't it? Now in the real world, the chances of survival in such a scenario would depend on a multitude of factors. First, let's talk about the knife. A good survival knife can be an invaluable tool in the wild. It can help you with tasks like cutting branches for shelter, hunting for food, and even sparking a fire if you're lucky enough to have a ferro rod. But here's the catch. It's not just about having a knife, it's about knowing how to use it. Now, on to shelter. In the movies, our hero often constructs a perfect shelter in what seems like minutes. But in reality, building a shelter that can protect you from the elements takes time and skill. And, remember in the wild, time is a luxury you can't always afford. Food and water, the vital two. In films, it seems like food is always conveniently available, and water is as pure as a mountain spring. But let's face it, not all of us are Bear grills. Hunting and gathering can be challenging, and finding clean water is not always a guarantee. Survival experts agree that the most important factor is not the knife, the shelter or even the food and water but the will to survive. It's the mental toughness that keeps you going when the odds are stacked against you. So, could you survive in the wild with just a knife? 
The answer is, it's complicated, there are too many variables at play. But, one thing is certain. Survival in the wild is no walk in the park, and certainly not as easy as the movies make it seem. How about those scenes where bullets seem to have a mind of their own? Can a bullet really curve mid-air? Well, in the world of cinema, bullets aren't just chunks of lead propelled by gunpowder. They're gymnasts, acrobats, and sometimes they even seem to have a mind of their own. You've seen it, right? The hero fires a shot, and the bullet dances through the air, curving around obstacles and finding its target with unerring accuracy. But could this really happen? Can a bullet truly defy the laws of physics and change its path mid-air? Let's dig a little deeper. Bullets, like any other object, follow a predictable path determined by a mix of factors. The direction the gun is pointing when fired, the force of the propulsion, gravity, air resistance, all these come together to decide where our bullet will end up. Once a bullet leaves the barrel of a gun, its path is pretty much set in stone. Or air in this case. So where does this idea of a curving bullet come from? Well, it's a bit of a Hollywood invention. It makes for a visually stunning sequence and adds a dash of unpredictability to the mix. But in reality, it's about as likely as a pig sprouting wings and taking flight. We checked with some experts to be sure. Ballistics experts, physicists, even a couple of snipers. They all agree. Once a bullet is in the air, its path is determined. There's no curving, no swerving, no zigzagging. But what about that scene where the bullet spins around a corner? Sorry to burst your bubble, but that's just not possible. The bullet can't change its path once it's in flight. It can't even do a little shimmy to the left or right. It's all about the initial direction and velocity. So the next time you see a bullet performing acrobatics in a movie, remember, it's just a cinematic liberty. So, what's the verdict? How much of what we see in movies is based on reality? Well, let's recap. We've put some of the most iconic silver screen moments under the microscope. And the results have been eye-opening, to say the least. First we tackled the gravity-defying car jump. Remember how our car, instead of soaring through the sky like a majestic bird, ended up as a pile of twisted metal? It turns out gravity is a stickler for rules, and our poor car was no match for it. Next we ventured into the wild. We've seen action heroes survive the harshest of conditions with nothing but a pocket knife. But when we tried it, we found out that reality bites, and it bites hard. The wild is not a five-star hotel, and survival is not a walk in the park. Then, we turned our sights to the unstoppable bullet. We've seen bullets rip through everything from walls to cars and movies, but our tests showed that bullets are not as unstoppable as they seem, they're subject to the same laws of physics as everything else, and they don't always cut through objects like a hot knife through butter. In summary, while movies often take liberties with the laws of physics and reality, it's all part of the magic. They bend the rules, twist the facts and sometimes outright ignore them. All for the sake of keeping us entertained. But here's the catch. Movies aren't textbooks, and they aren't meant to be. They're about telling stories, about making us laugh, cry and feel. They're about the suspension of disbelief, about taking us on a journey to a world where anything is possible. So, while it's fun to put our favorite movie moments to the test, let's not forget why we fell in love with them in the first place. Remember, movies are all about the suspension of disbelief. Enjoy the magic, but don't forget to question the science. Until next time, keep watching and keep questioning.